Hello dear students, welcome to your PDA. Today I am going to discuss one of the good question. In fact, uh, many people, many students, even faculties also don't know about uh, this question. Means uh, they will find uh, both are same. Let's see what is that question first of all. This question was asked previously in Easter interview. Okay, yeah, what is that question? What is the difference between natural response and transient response? If you ask this question anyone, they will say that both are same. It's mostly. 99% of the people they, they'll say that both are same. I'll say that both are not same. Let's see what is the difference between natural response and transient response. I'm taking one example for explaining that. Yes, observe here my carefully all of you. See, there is a lot of difference between natural response and transient response. Now I'm taking a, a circuit, a series RC network with a DC input. Yes, I'm giving voltage V and this is R, this is a C, voltage across capacitor, I'm taking it as Vc of t. What is the expression for Vc of t? Ma? Vc of t is equal to V into 1 minus E power minus T by Rc. I'll write this one this way. V minus V into E power minus T by Rc. E power minus T by Rc. Let me find its transfer function for the purpose of explanation. Ma. Let me find its transfer function for the purpose of explanation. What is the transfer function of it? Vc of s is equal to Va of s into 1 by Cs by R plus 1 by Cs by R plus 1 by Cs. So that is Vc of s by Va of s is equal to 1 by SCR plus 1. What is the characteristic equation that is uh, SCR, SCR plus 1 is equal to 0. Where is the closed loop pole located? Ma? Pole, pole is located at S is equal to minus 1 by RC. I am going to put this one in the bracket. Yes, pole is equal to minus 1 by RC. Observe it carefully. See. Uh, this is uh, the input, uh, this is the output Vc of t, this is the output uh, voltage Vc of t. If you look at here, if you look at here, yes, observe all of you carefully, ma. Vc of t. If you observe here carefully, yes, this response is going to have two parts. Let me write in, the, in, in a new page, ma. yes, we have Vc of t is equal to v minus v into e power minus t by rc and where pole s is equal to minus 1 by rc yes now let me write here very clearly so this response i made into two parts this response total response total response of any dynamic system is going to have two parts one is natural response another one is forceful response this is the first basic classification so then what is the transient response and steady state response we are going to see okay that uh, way of classification is different this way of classification is different uh, see what is natural response the part of the response which does not follow input please catch the term the part of the response which does not follow input following input means uh, it is not uh, it is not having the same expression magnitude is not required it is not having the same format as that of input what is the input given by me yes input is equal to V A of T is equal to V A given. If you observe this part of the response, yes. So this part of the response, this is a following input. Yes, this is following input. Magnitude need not to be same always, but this is the DC input I given. Yes, sir. this part of the response is also DC. Yes, this part of the response is also this part of the response is also DC. That's why it is called as following input. The part of the response that follows input is called as a forced response. Forced response. Yes. Now, if you look at here, this particular part of the response is not following input. Not following input, but but depends on system parameters depends on what system parameters 
system parameters how it is let me write once again here v c of t is equal to v minus v into e power minus t by r c pole is at s is equal to minus 1 by r c sir why you are writing again and again pole as pole is at minus 1 by r c you got minus 1 by r c here if if pole is at 1 by r c plus 1 by r c you are going to get this one as e power plus t by r c this particular natural response so this particular natural response of the system yeah this is called as what see not following input but depends on yes system parameters it is called as what natural yes response natural response so this natural response is going to depend on system parameters depending on the values of this r and c that's why it is called as natural response or response due to system parameters okay so the response which depends on the system parameters or system is called as a natural response many people will give answer this way also that is wrong answer i am going to tell that is uh, sir natural response is the response which uh, depends on initial conditions no there is no relationship between initial conditions and natural response here i did not take any initial voltage across capacitor though i got natural response now then what is transient response sir v c of t entire v c of t entire v c of t is equal to v minus v into e power minus t by r c this total part is called as a transient response transient response up to phi tau up to phi tau or four tau depending on the accuracy what is tau time constant means uh, as time is increasing this particular part the significance is going to decrease transient period is the period during which uh, this is also having significance a natural response is having significance transient response means it is the total response combination of natural response and forced response forced response and natural response below up to phi tau up to phi tau why we taken up to phi tau only as the time increases see at t is equal to 0 this magnitude is v into e power minus t by so let me plot the graph see natural response is what what is that v into e, e power or let's take a v into e power minus t by r c minus we keep it aside okay now if i draw that if i draw that with respect to t yes i'm drawing it this is a natural response yes yes now this way it is decreasing at t is equal to 0 how much it is v now what is at t is equal to 0 or let's take in the form of table at t is equal to, let's take in the form of table this is t this is a uh, uh, vc of uh, or first uh, let's take it as a natural response t this is natural response this is vc of uh, t at t is equal to 0 how much is natural response v vc of t is 0 uh, because v minus v v minus v is 0 yes at t is equal to 1 tau 1 tau means tau is what is the time constant for series rc network rc at t equal to 1 tau how much i'm going to get natural response v into e power minus 1 how much is e power minus 1 0.368 0.368 v it is going to be 0.632 v yes you see natural response is decreasing means the total response is increasing at 2 tau yes sir it this will be some point uh, i can say 14 v it is going to be some point 85 some i'm taking approximate values not exact values so like that if, if you take at a 3 tau sorry if you take it 3 tau this will be uh, some point 0.5 v this is a point 0.95 v at a 4 tau it is a, i can say point 0.2 v it is point 0.98 v at a 5 tau yes it is a point 0.1 v it is a point 0.99 0 0.01 sorry not point 0.1 yes this is 0 0.01 v this is point 0.99 v okay this is also 0 0.02 ma sorry this is 0 0.05 0 0.02 okay 0 0.05 0 0.02 now you see natural response is decreasing total response is increasing after fight or no natural response is almost zero okay then what is a transient response the total response both natural and forced 
in up to this period up to this period is called as a transient response the response of the system during transient period is called as transient response but uh, don't misunderstand that natural response and forced uh, natural response and transient response both are same there is a lot of difference i think by this time you got the idea what is the difference between natural response and transient response thank you